We're the Rick and Bubba Show. I'll tell you what, the emails flooded in after his first appearance on the program, and um, we definitely want to see if we couldn't get him back through college football season to kind of talk about the upcoming week. And, uh, and uh, Lou Holtz uh, was a big hit uh, last week. And welcome back, Lou. How are you, buddy? Rick and Bubba, it's good to be back again. i tell you what, I, I think I've watched that uh, YouTube video about 4,000 times since last week, so it's been... It's been just such a such great uh, publicity for myself. I tell you, people over there, it's been, been very excited about, about me being on the Rick Bub show and just excited to be back with you guys this morning. All right, well, hey, Coach, um, <laughs> uh, I, 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 you know, Bubba's not here. This is actually Mark Garnett. Oh, uh, hey, hey, Bubba, how you doing, Bubba? Yeah, uh, yeah, right. Good to see you. It's all good. It's now, <laughs> you know, the, the Depends is coming in handy now. You're right. <laughs> All right, to coach That's what? right. Well, well, I I just wanted to go ahead and start this week <laughs> off by by congratulating the uh, Jacksonville Jaguars for beating the old Mississippi State <laughs> Rebels this past week, <laughs> 40, 49 to forty eight in double overtime. A lot of hype has been made about about that supposed upset. And let me let me tell you, I, I know Mississippi <laughs> State Rebels are good, but <laughs> especially especially with that quarterback. That quarterback from Oregon, Masoli. But I didn't re- <laughs> I tell you what, I I didn't realize that they would be favored against an NFL team. So but but, you know, <laughs> but that's what they're saying that that was a big upset. So I'm I just wanted to mention that the uh, <laughs> congratulations those guys. Now this week, instead of discussing all these matchups in detail, we just wanted to take this segment to highlight one specific game. Okay. And um, and I, I just wanted to give the, the players a little motivational speech. Uh, okay. For, for well, you, you've given some great ones, by the way. <laughs> now, here, here's the deal. This mm. this may come as a surprise, but it does not involve the University of Notre Dame Banging Irish. So <laughs> <laughs> it, it, actually, it actually features the University of Alabama Crimson Tide. Now, before I get to that, I wanted to mention one other game that might be of interest to your market. Okay. Now. People are overlooking this game, but I have a feeling it's going to be close one. It's the Mississippi State Bulldogs versus the Open Tigers. Now, here's the deal. Here's the deal. I just get the feeling that this is going to be a close game. One and one that's probably going to result in more of a defensive struggle than, than most people think. Now, I see one of Auburn's best defensive linemen is named Nick Fairley. I see him stepping up to the plate tonight with some, with some T sacks and possibly a tip ball interception. Plus. <laughs> Plus, plus, I, I expect I expect Jesse Palmer to provide some idiotic commentary from the booth and for, for him to for him to mispronounce mispronounce uh, Auburn Skicker's name for the entire game. Now, <laughs> now I'm gonna say I'm gonna say. Well, here, here's the deal. I'm gonna say Auburn 17-14, but it will come down to a last second drive. And with Mississippi State receiver, we'll drop a pass to get to them in field goal range. What are your predictions, Ricky Bubba? <laughs> <laughs> I, I vote the Auburn uh, Mississippi State game 17 14 on. <laughs> That's a pretty good pick. What about you, Bubba? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, um, <laughs> You know, I graduated from the University of South Florida, where Skip's now the head coach. Now, I'll tell you what, they're playing the Florida, the Florida Gators this week, and they're going to win by 416 points. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what else, Lou? All right, well, here's the deal. I, I want to take this time to... <laughs> Oh, I want to take great. this time to give a uh, awesome. give a little motivational speech <laughs> to uh, to the Alabama Crimson Tide before their game okay, all right. against Penn State and Indy Lions because let me tell you they're they're nobody's predicting the Alabama Crimson Tide to win. <laughs> okay, <laughs> men, men, here we go, men. Yeah. It's that time of year again, the time of year when the leaves are on the trees but they're about to fall off because it's getting too cold for them to stay on the trees because the leaves can't live when it's freezing outside. <laughs> Now it's it's the time of year. It's the time of year when the crimson and white faithful don their finest wife beaters and hounds to boxer. <laughs> and decide to roll they decide to drive their homes into Tuscaloosa. <laughs> it's it's tradition. It's it's passion. It's living in the past, and no one knows this better than me. But no one does this better than you. 
Now that's right, it's football season and it's here to stay until January, in which case it will end for a while, but then it'll end up coming back next year and year round in the season will come back. Okay. <laughs> but man, this speech isn't about winning. This speech is about going out there and giving your all for the University of Alabama Crimson Tide University and the millions of bandwagon fans that count every national championship as two. <laughs> now, <laughs> now here's the deal. It's not like losing this game to the Penn State Nittany Lions will change how your fans feel or how they claim superiority over every other university. No, men. This, they'll, they'll still think you're the best based on the university 776 national championships. <laughs> <laughs> nope. This, is, this ain't about bragging rights because if history is any indicator, we know that that doesn't change anything about how you brag about your team. Now, having said that, this game, is, this game is extremely important. Yes. For one of my dear friends, you might know him, his name is Joe Paterno. There's a good chance he might not make it to the end of the game tonight. <laughs> he was born in 1926, and as you can imagine, it's rather difficult at age 106 years of age to coach. <laughs> so what does this have to do with you? Absolutely nothing. In fact, I have no clue what I'm saying right now. <laughs> So, men, in conclusion, I want you to think about the leaves falling off the trees and the snow outside during Christmas during your game. And think about watching Home Alone and Elf with the family on Christmas Eve. <laughs> and also about the fun things that Santa might bring you in your stocking. <laughs> because family is what it's all about. And the Alabama family is counting on you. Now, I will say, Joe Paterno's family has to be concerned with this health, so please keep that in mind while you're playing. <laughs> One more thing. One more thing. Ask, I want you to remember, ask not what you can do for your team, but what your team can do for you. And lastly, men, i leave you with this one thought before you take the field, and that is this. There's no I in team, but there's also no team in I. Go get them. <laughs> <laughs> wow, learn. My goodness. I'm ready to hit the field right now. Wow. <laughs> I hope that Auburn prediction comes true, man. Yeah. Dead on. Honestly, I spent a long time writing that last night, and it just it, it just flowed. It just made sense, you know. And so I was just sharing sharing with you my thoughts and my 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 love of Christmas and, and the fall. But anyway, I'm not going to get soaked up on it. I wanted to uh, go over with you guys the records from last week. Okay. Bubba. Bubba, you uh, you end up coming out on top. I like your glasses, by the way. They look great. <laughs> Thanks. They're, it's actually a spit shield. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually running out of spit. I need to uh, put a little Dasani water here and here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, Bubba came out on top last week. He had an 8-3 and three record. Congrats to Bubba for having the closest predictions for both the Auburn and Alabama games. He predicted 52 to 21 for Auburn, and the final was 52 to 26. Oh wow! And then 45 to three for Alabama, and the final was 48 to three. So he was, Bubba was right on. Rick, you went seven and four, as did Dr. Lou Speedy, and Bubba went eight and three last week. So congratulations. Now. If we got just another minute, we can talk a little bit about the games this week. But we, I, I don't have much to talk about. But we uh, there here's a game from uh, from this week, Bubba. I mean Rick, Bubba okay. and uh, Speedy. There's your one right there. Okay. And we've got we got eight games on the slate this week. All right. Uh, you like you like. All right, and here's one I know you want to talk about: Michigan at Notre Dame. Michigan and Notre Dame. Now here's the deal. <laughs> mm-hmm. Here's the deal. Michigan is gonna go out there, and they're gonna. They're going to score negative 14 points. <laughs> and the uh, Notre Dame Fighting Irish is uh, led by uh, one of the, the uh, greatest traditions in history, uh, marked by myself, Lou Olsen. Look, look, they're going to come out there, and they're going to beat them. I'm going to go ahead and make the prediction. 217 <laughs> to 4. <laughs> Again, I, I just I like the two safeties. <laughs> I like the two safeties. <laughs> Uh, I will. Uh, I'm going to give the nod in this game to Michigan. Sorry about that, buddy. Going to go. Where with are they Michigan. playing that one? They're playing at Notre, Notre Dame. Dame. That one's at Notre Dame. Now, another one of interest to me is the uh, Georgia and South Carolina game. Now, I know Georgia looked pretty good against Lewis and Lafayette last week, but I'll tell you right now, the Gamecocks have a better mascot, Cocky, and he's one of my favorites, and they're going to win the game. Okay. So, <laughs> 
So you're going with it. You're going with South Carolina in that one. I'm going with with South Carolina in because because I like their mascot. Okay. All right. All right. I'm go, I'm going to go with Georgia in that one. Now, really? Fl- I'm, going, I'm going with South Carolina as well. Okay. Thanks, Bubba. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Bubba. Bubba, that was good. That was good. That was good prediction right there. Thank you. All right. All right. The Florida State and Oklahoma game. I'm going, um, who are you going with? Luke? I'm going to have to go with the Seminoles. Again, you know my rules. That's an upset. So I'm going to go with the Seminoles because I just love saying Seminoles. Seminoles. <laughs> Seminoles. I love saying Seminoles. It's just so fun. <laughs> Seminoles. Seminoles. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. I, I will. Um, everybody thinks Florida State's going to upset Oklahoma. I'm going to go with Oklahoma. Oklahoma almost lost to Utah State last week. Utah State's fun to say, too, but they almost lost to them. So I'm going to go I, I think they're going to they get that together. <laughs> All right, Miami, Miami, Ohio State. Miami, Ohio State. I might have to go with, uh, might have to go with the uh, Miami Hurricanes. You got Ohio, you, Ohio State Buckeyes. I'll probably have to go with the Ohio State Buckeyes. Cause <laughs> oh, are you saying that to see which one you like to say? That's that's. It's all about the asses. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, Speedy, what do you think? Uh, uh Ohio My, State, Florida State. No, Ohio I mean Ohio State, State uh, Miami. Miami. Yeah. Um. Where's this one being played? This at, one is at, at that. This State. one's over at the Horseshoe, which is. is also fun to say. I just love saying this. this is horseshoe. Say it one more time. The, the Horseshoe. Yeah. yeah. Horseshoe. Yeah, Ohio State. I'm going with Ohio State. I'm as going well. with Miami, 28-17. Ooh, okay, wow. thanks, Bubba. All right, good job, Bubba. Penn State at Alabama. Penn, I, know, I know you said not many people freaking Alabama. Knew. Yeah. <laughs> Alabama is definite, the definite underdog here. They're coming <laughs> off a they're coming off of a national championship uh, season, so nobody's expecting them to win. So I'm going to go with the uh, Penn State Seminoles. Okay, you're going with Penn State. <laughs> Penn State <laughs> Seminoles. <laughs> <I'll>, <laughs> I will go with Alabama. Yeah. All right. Alabama, Alabama 35 to 14. Mm-hmm. Uh, Oregon at Tennessee. Uh, it's uh, going to go with, uh, actually, an upset in this one, the Tennessee uh, Bulldogs. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go I'm gonna go with Oregon. Go with the Tennessee one. Bulldogs on this one. They just got, got too many weapons, and they've had – their coach has been there for 10 years. So, you know, they're <laughs> – uh, which makes absolute – yeah. No that's, that's right. It's been there for 10 years. LSU at Vanderbilt. I'm going to go LSU. I'm going to go uh, LSU in this one because Vanderbilt – Stinks, and they lost to Northwestern last week. UAB at SMU. Uh yeah, this is going to be a pretty tough game for a UAB on the uh, on the road, but I'm picking them. I'm picking them. You're picking UAB. I'm picking UAB over SMU. They're gonna their coach is gonna have them ready to play this week after uh, after a tough one last week at, uh, against FAU. So UAB actually has a program. Uh, oh, sh- Mark Bobby. Garnett. Mark Garnett. I mean Bubba. His his email <laughs> his email is bubba at rickandbubba.com. Lou Hopes, thanks for being with us today. Hey, it was great to be with you guys. I hope you uh, have a great weekend. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba.